Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the CRL number 8025 Satin Aluminum Sex Bolt for Hardware Mounting 2 inch and 3 quarter thick doors. This is a package of sex bolts is what it is. Sex bolts like this are used uh, in lots of applications uh, is where you'll use them. But first, let's do a bit of a tour of what's in the package. There'll be four of these female ends. Okay, and then there are four of the male ends. They are quarter 20 is what they are. Let's take some dimensional properties of everything right now. Okay, the overall length of the female end is 1.772. Overall is 1.772. The dimension from the underside of the head to the end is 1.654. 1.654. The diameter of the body itself is 0 0.373. 0 0.373. The diameter of the head is 0 0.628. 0 0.628. That's the female side. The quarter 20 male side, the length of those flathead machine bolts is 0 0.974, 0 0.974. So basically quarter 20 by one. Um, that's the dimensional property uh, properties of these items. And this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when it's gonna be used and put together, okay? The length of everything on here is by design and that's going to dictate where you will use this. Let's discuss where you will use this. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. These sex bolts are in particular perfectly suited for use when installing a door closer onto a non-reinforced wood door, obviously. Uh, even a hollow metal door would be great. And what's really unique about this type of hardware is that it's made for that application. Here's what I mean. You're going to drill. First of all, this will be for door closers that have a tr modern look to them. CRL has many door closers like this. This is going to be the quintessential Norton 1600 series modern style door closer that has just the you know, half inch thick mounting uh, points on on the outside ends of the closer. You'll have them nine and a sixteenth center to center, three quarter inch vertically, or variations of that length. But not when you're using the thick body like the ubiquitous LCN 4040 series. You can use the sex bolts for that, the female side. But the male side, you'll need longer bolts. Don't quote me, but two and a quarter, two and three quarter, something like that. Maybe two and three quarter. But what makes these specifically engineered for the application is when you drill your 3 8 hole, by the way, is what you need on the outside, and then a quarter inch on the inside, maybe if you're going wire sizes, go one wire size larger than that, which is, you know, 15 thousandths of an inch, something of that nature uh, on the inside. You're not going to want the outside over drilled at all because two things, the underside of the head to the end here, I gave you that dimension. That is the right dimension for when you insert the female side through the exterior opposite or opposite the door closer side. This shoulder of the bolt is gonna make contact with the inside face of the steel, okay? So that when you tighten the bolt, the shoulder, which is why you're drilling two different diameter holes, quarter here and three eighths here, will prevent you from really crushing that door skin in. That's what it's made for. These splines are meant when you're tightening it to prevent it from rotating in that hole. You'll get that in there and yes, you're gonna to have to tap that in. Um, be careful not to whack it, you'll dent the door, especially if it's a very light gauge door. Um, but you want it to be fit so that the splines will bite in, preventing it from turning. This again is just a quarter 20, so if you need to substitute a longer bolt, have at it. As a result, this can be used on lots of different hardware where a quarter 20 bolt would be appropriate. You may not need a quarter 20 bolt for through bolting a rim exit only exit device. Uh, the quarter 20 might be too large. The flat head would certainly be incorrect. You'd probably need a pan head machine bolt or a round head machine bolt for that. But nonetheless, anywhere where a quarter 20 would work, here it is. 
Now, why would you buy these? Well, because the closers that you bought, you've discovered that you need to through bolt them and you did not get any through bolts the first time around or sex bolts. There are variations on this material. You have sex bolts, you have machine screws and nuts, you have through bolts and grommets. All of it does the same job. It allows you to bolt something through, bolt something onto a door by through, through bolting it or bolting it through the door. But specifically the sex bolt, because of that engineered length of that, in, that shoulder height, that's why this is an advantageous one to uh, method of mounting to use because you're not over tightening and cr collapsing and crushing the door in. Now be mindful um, of where and when you use these because it may not be the right idea because when we stand 20 feet away from a bank of doors and they all have these little dots on them, the designer, the owner, the engineer, the architect, um, the hardware supplier, the installer might say, why are those little dots on my doors? Um, so don't through bolt them unless you know that you're supposed to through bolt them. That would be called out in the hardware set or specifically indicated by others uh, because you don't want to assume that on four pair of Anna Gray doors, if Oak is a hundred, Anna Gray is a thousand dollars, that you're to through bolt them just because they were in the box. If the hardware set doesn't call for them, you obviously um, want to use the hardware mounting type that is specifically indicated in the hardware set. Um, but if you're installing this, you probably are the decision maker and you know that you're supposed to through bolt these. It's unusual for commercial hollow metal doors to not be reinforced for a closer. You might get a 20 gauge door that's not reinforced, but 18 gauge, 16, 14, that's all going to be reinforced as standard for a door closer. So you would be drilling and tapping, except that many people don't want to, will not, don't know how to drill and tap a hole, that's fine. Through bolt it if that works for you. Um, if you have a hollow core door in a restaurant and you have a size two closer on it and you've put that on there and the first couple of times it worked and then somebody opened up the door and the whole veneer ripped away um, because you installed it down to nothing. There's nothing there in the hollow core door. Hollow core door. You can salvage the installation with something like this. Okay. Let's switch to the screen view now and let's take a closer look at some supporting information. Here is the item that we are looking at. Let's take a look at some images that we have posted down below. Here's the packaging, everything removed from the packaging, the female half only, side view, the opposite end, the bolt itself, a couple of different perspectives on the bolt, and then it assembled. Four in a package would be typical. Um, it's unusual to need these in multiples other than four, but it's possible. You might need two, uh, well, you might need four for an exit device, two at the head case, two at the uh, end cap area. Uh, generally with exit devices, they're a 1024 size through bolt or sex bolt or through bolt and grommet nut, but a sex bolt really. Um, quarter 20 is when you're gonna be uh, dealing with door closers. You get into some push and pull hardware and you can deal with material that's greater than quarter 20. It's not going to really look like this, but you'll deal with thread types that are through bolted that are 5 16 or 3 8 things of that nature. Uh, information from Sierra Lawrence li listed down below. They're used for securing push bars, surface mounted door closers, and other fixtures to inch and three quarter thick doors. Why inch and three quarter? Well, it's got everything to do with the length of this. If your door is inch and three eighths, this won't work. You'll have to cut it down and then no threads are left. If it's two and a quarter, this design really won't help you because it's not long enough to serve the purpose. I suppose you could get some bushings and make that work. Um, you know, you'd have to uh, put that together, but you could, you could get a bushing over that if you had a thicker door. Get the bushing with the right OD and the right ID. That should work out well for you. Satin aluminum, they indicate aluminum. This, these bolts are, are made of steel, is what they are. This image that's here does infer an aluminum-based material. This would be not what you're buying. These bolts that we have here are made of steel. That would be appropriate for fire doors. This, assuming that it's made of aluminum, and I'm sure that it is, would not be accurate, would not be correct, would not be permissible, in fact, on a fire-rated door. So if you're installing material onto a fire rated door and your magnet tells you that this is not ferrous, I would assume it's aluminum and not stainless um, and not use it for a fire rated door. A 
fire door assembly inspector who knows what to look for will certainly be a fire door assembly inspector is very likely someone who has a background in hardware and this is a telltale sign of something that's aluminum that would be a red flag to me as a fire door inspector so uh, make sure they're steel that's all there is to it there is a link below this video to the manufacturers page here where you can pull up not only all of the CR Lawrence products that we sell but also forgive me uh, all the C.R. Lawrence products we sell by means of this horizontal navigation. There's also a link to the manufacturer's website. And then several and many links to all of their catalogs. There are dozens of their catalogs. Um, you know, these sex bolts are going to show up in lots of different uh, catalogs. Namely, architectural hardware would be here. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. It is not unusual that you would be purchasing these uh, sex bolts separately. They are not generally included standard with a closer. Generally with closers, you'll get them tri-packed, which means you can install them regular arm, top jam mount, or parallel arm. But they'll, they'll have self-drilling, self-tapping, self-reaming screws for wood and metal applications, but not, not, not sex bolts like this. Um, you can... Order those at a, as a separate line item. You can, however you get them, you might want to consider the possibility of needing them up front to save you having to order them separately because there's not much the closer is good to you unless you can secure it to the door naturally. The name Sierra Lawrence is synonymous with many things hardware related, namely uh, in the shower door industry, hinges, push-pull, uh, towel bars, things of that nature, knobs, much of it is made of solid brass. All of the items that you would need, in fact, to install a shower door, a glass shower door enclosure. Speaking of glass, they have countless installation aids for glass projects, but they get into other things. Obviously, architectural hardware, architectural metals. They get into aluminum storefront material. They have egress compliant uh, push bars under their Blumcraft name, etc. Any questions on the Sierra Lawrence? This is their part number DCSBA package of four steel sex bolts or any other Sierra Lawrence product. Please feel free to reach out to us and thank you. Again, thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.